Hi, it's Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today I'm going to show you another fun fold card, but this one can be called two different things. You'll hear me refer to it in several different ways. This video today was very challenging because I actually had to retape it more than once because it was so hard to see. I did finally get the camera to where it's, I think, easier to see. So we'll go ahead and get started, but the two names for this card is called the Double Fun Fold Card, but I've also heard it referred to as the Double Fun Fold Flap Card. So I'll refer to it several times in here because I just don't know what the true name of it is, but I think you're going to like it. Now this was a 12 by 12 paper, but the first cut was at four and a quarter. So I took it and I cut the 12 by 12 down to four and a quarter. Okay, then I rotated it and now I cut an inch off. Then what you'll do is you'll start scoring it. So the first score will be at two and three quarters right here. And that'll be a score. That's my white. So I will score that. The second will be at five and a half. Now I think you can make these flaps any size. This is just what I'm doing for the video today. I may make a couple more of these at, with different sizes and we'll see how they turn out. So now I'm at five and a half and I'll score it here. So now you'll take your bone folder and the first thing you'll do, I'm actually going to flip this over because I want to use this side to actually make my fold. So, you'll take your bone folder and the first thing you'll want to do is, this is what I do, I'm just going to take a spot here on the video for you and I've lined it up here across that line and then I'll take this one and it should be perfect and it is. Oops, I'm moving it, sorry. Hopefully that's not moving in the video. You don't have to do this by the way, you just want to make make the ends meet here. So we'll do this, set it up against that, take our bone folder. Do not have to have a bone folder. I prefer it because you're going to be more working with these pieces. So then the next thing that you'll do is you will take this score mark, okay? I turn it over this way. Again, you could just take this and do this. So now your left, we'll call this your left fold card. The video got a little bit out of focus so I apologize in advance. Now here's where I ran into some challenges. You'll see that I flip back and forth between the two tapings and you'll see my fingernails change and the whole bit. At the next cut you'll take the remaining paper left from your 12 by 12 and what I did is I made the first cut at three and a quarter then I flipped it over and then cut it at eight and a half that will be the right inside card or sometimes referred to as a flap card. But let's take a look. Once you've completed those two cuts, you'll score it at four and a quarter. Now as I start to glue this down, I thought I'd go ahead and just put together for you the measurements of these pattern paper cuts. The first one that I'm gluing down is the right side flap card, we'll call it. And the measurements for that are three by four. 
In my case, I used some scraps, so I may be a little less than three on that one cut. Then in the left folded card, the large portion there at the bottom that I'm gluing down, that's your regular four by five and a quarter. I changed my mind throughout this video and I decided to use the dark portion there and use that lighter portion on that right hand side flap card. So I'll just put that away, that flap card for a minute, put a block on the other part that I just glued down on that left hand side. Now to the furthest left, I'm going to go ahead and put that cut down, just glue it on down. And that is going to be two and a half by four. And I just think this is going to be a very elegant card. So as I'm going through the design process, I decided somewhere along the way I could make this as an anniversary card, maybe a thinking of you, or even an elegant Valentine's Day card. What do you think? Now I pulled out a few dies because I realized why not use the supplies I already have. So, and just so you know, all these supplies will be linked in the description box below. I've already made one of these cards and I'll sneak peek it for you here because I've taped this several times. But I did want to show you, you can use any dies that you have in your stash. We'll continue to work on this second card, but this card, I'm going to be using the square die. This and this is Dress My Craft. I do like these. I love how many of the frames they have, and I'll be making a lot of frames, probably. Um, and then I'll have those ready to go. But that's the piece that I'm going to be using. So what I'll do is I'll take my focal point. I'll stamp it on here. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blending brush. And blend some color on the background like you saw in that initial one. Now, for my focal point, I grabbed my little mini Misty and I put the stamp set focal point, the flowers from the stamp set S2402, which is our February stamp of the month. And I grabbed those flowers, and with those pre cut die cuts, it's real simple. I just throw them in my mini Misty and I stamp them up, and then I just at that point make a decision what to do with it next. So here that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw them in here, stamp them with my black memento ink, and then I'm going to grab a blending brush and actually put some flamingo on it so that it has that watercolor look. Now here's where I made a change in my thought process here and I grabbed that floral bouquet and I decided that would look really good on that open area of the inside of that left fold card. So I grabbed my mini misty. This is tricky, but I made it work and I grabbed my black memento ink and I stamped it. But I did have a backup plan. I decided if it didn't work, I would just take one of those die cuts I already had cut up, and I would stamp it on that and put that over the top. So I had a backup plan, just in case this last minute change did not work out. Take a look. I grabbed my flamingo brush and lightly went over that as well, so that it was kind of uniform.
Now I will glue the flap card to the right and now you're going to get a better picture of what this is going to look like and it's turning out great. Next, I'll add my focal point. I'll only put glue on the left hand side and you've seen me do this in my other fun fold card. But you only put glue on the left hand side of that focal point. So here's our card for today. Take a look at this one. I'll also show you the other card that I'd made previously and I'm going to throw in another one. These don't have to be a certain type of card. You can make these vertical, you can make them horizontal. Take a look at this cutesy card that I made that's actually going to go to my niece for her birthday and I think it turned out cute this way also. So coming soon, for those that are new, and I want to thank you, I do have some new subscribers, and I also want to thank the ones that have stayed with me. I appreciate you so much. I have an end of month video coming out, and there are so many cards coming out on this video, and layouts, and, and whatnot. Um, and just a little heads up, I do have another sheet load type of video coming up, and it will probably be in a short video but I took three sheets of 12 by 12 paper with some cardstock and some ephemera or just focal points that I had in my stash and I made 15 cards all different types and all different looks and that'll be coming out soon also. Thank you so much for joining me today and until next time have a great day.